All right, it's Saturday, April 30th, 2022. I'm here in downtown Riverside at the Riverside County Courthouse. No, I didn't get in trouble because it's Saturday and the legal people don't work on Saturday anyway. We are here for the cruise, for the show and go cruise and car show. Um, the cars are actually still rolling in here. We're gonna go check it out. They have a, they closed off like a big loop here in uh, downtown Riverside where they all cruise up and down the streets as well as have cars parked. So I'm sure this is gonna be a fairly lengthy video. So let's go get started right now. Right, so you see the cars cruising up and down the streets. And I'm just gonna be willing to bet that there's just so many cars here, there's no way I'm gonna be able to spend a whole lot of time on each one. So we'll forewarn you. So there they have, uh, right down there they turn left and then uh, they continue on the loop that goes around. Really is a cool event, and they had stuff, I guess, last night as well, but of course, Saturday is the big day, and they, they come out all day and cruise and park, and everybody has a good time here in uh, downtown Riverside. So I said, this is gonna be an interesting one to shoot because you got cars on both sides of the road, as well as parks, such as this 56 uh, Chevy. I'm just going to walk the whole loop and then we'll see what we see and there's something that's like super amazingly interesting. It's a very nice 67 Chevelle. We will stop and look at it. There's really no textbook way to uh, film a show such as this. It's kind of weird. They have all these channels on YouTube on how to like film how to do stuff on YouTube. There's none of them explain how to shoot the kinds of videos that I shoot. <laughs> They're all about how to sit in front of a camera in your house and talk about something for five minutes. Actually, next weekend we have Long Beach Swap Meet again. And I may try to make it to the uh, Culver City Car Show on Saturday no, well, I, I as well. So I could do another midweek post with the Culver City Show the following Wednesday, like, like I did with the Spring Fling this week. So we'll see how that goes. This weekend I'm just shooting this show. I've got stuff with the family tomorrow, so will be my only show I'm shooting this weekend. Whether it's 55 gas or coming down the street. Very nice uh, charger. And of course the Cougar XR7 68. Uh, if you do like Mopars, you should check out the Spring Fling video that recently posted on the channel. And you can see the spectators set up their chairs to sit and watch the cars cruise by all day. There's the T-Bucket and the Mini-Me with the Suzuki motorcycle engine. Custom coupe. Have a look there. Got this cab over.
enough with the music, so I don't think we need to worry about it. Very clean uh, 70 Chevelle. two weeks I still don't know what I'm gonna shoot the weekend of the 14th and 15th 14th I have a concert I have to go to all day at the Rose Bowl and the 15th is my mother's birthday so I'm still trying to figure that one out I could probably hit a show in the morning on the 15th but I gotta find there was like a Mopar show I think out in Inland Empire that day that's probably what I'll wind up doing so that, that's a really interesting weekend when been fairly good about organizing my schedule to shoot these shows and swap meets and things. But that, that weekend's kind of got me stumped right now. There's a nice barracuda. Also in May, I know there's the big show in Santa Maria. I'm going to try to make it up there for that. And I, I know June, we got the Road Kings in Burbank. You got LA Roadsters at Pomona. We got another Pomona swap meet. It's a nice uh, Falcon Sprint that's for sale. Remember to check the date of that video before you start dialing those digits. No price, but there's all your information. So like I said, June's pretty packed full of car shows. July, not so much. I'm still working on the schedule for July. May have to go up to Washington State to shoot good guys up there since like pretty much down here it's very warm so not all that stuff gets scheduled. So we will see. Set up on his falcon. Ed was going to, but he said you guys really got your recording. That's a good thing. Let's take a look at this hearse. Complete with the casket. Schedule is I literally write everything on a calendar. I'm 
post-it notes and looking online for different shows even if it's out of the area this is just a really clean 55 Ford here Seven Ford convertible. Actually, a lot of these cars are parked right up in front there where you can't really get in front of them. Uh, 
this uh, 59 Cadillac. Oh, yeah. What's that, Mike? Right. Hey. Yeah. Is this your caddy? It's my cat, Frank. All right. Uh-huh. Well, it's going to be in the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to get now, huh? Yeah. 1,000 view shots. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. Huh? I'm gonna keep it pushing.
67 fuel injected Chevy. set up on her. If you like rat rods, you should check out the uh, Rat City Ruckus video I posted about a week and a half ago from Las Vegas. Lots of really amazing vehicles in that show. Pull out on this Impala. One of Mopar muscle cars. that 57 ranch wagon that we saw running around a little earlier. Cars turning around down there. There's a row of Continentals.
That guy back there with that Chevelle's having a little bit of a radiator issue. Riverside Theater. Nicely patinaed Ford for a couple seconds as he's got music playing behind it. And come over here. <laughs>
faster. Apollos for sale. This is the same one that we uh, had in the Pomona video last week. 
about 150% sure of that. There's the information though. But it was in the Pomona video from last Sunday. because there is some music, but I I gotta show you the vintage farm equipment. shorter as the music gets closer. Time to show you the sign with the music. Here comes the Riverside PD. That Camaro. Gonna show you a few more cars here. Hopefully, we'll get it before the music goes too long. Then 
we can roll right into this self you know? Our museum has come. And a lot of it is a result of the leadership of uh, Jamil. And uh, so, what is happening these days at the museum? Is that 68 Cougar we saw earlier. announcements and they left the music playing while they're doing the announcements so you really can't even hear what the hell they're talking about because the music's too loud. I was like cool announcements I can film now. I was just gonna try to breeze through it anyway. Nice pair of 56 nomads. Model T. Metropolitan. Not a Monza with a big block. on somebody's water bottle they threw out by accident and it's still full. doing the entire loop and we haven't even gotten through the entire loop yet you want to give him a call so grab his bike and then uh as i said before it's impossible to get all the cars and i'm sure there's a few that we're gonna maybe get more than once it's a nice 64 dto the tri power there's a 68 gto that gassers we saw rolling around earlier was 57 Chev and the 65 GTO or Le Mans or Tempest or whatever it is. Well actually it's a GTO, it has a GTO badge on the dash. Yeah, you gotta look at that 57. So it is for sale, I remember Remember the rule? It's got the building frame. Another uh, Model A. This guy is the dog catcher. He's got himself a basset hound in there. With a 
and they got a spot in the shade. Well, we'll, we'll show the dog again. There you go. We have to show the dog. It's, it's like the law. Just like we had to show the farm equipment. Uh, this guy didn't look like he had too much fun. auto there. A 64 and a 63 Impala. Off a little further from the music. the old Ford tractor we saw rolling around earlier. Looks to be very farm fresh. Show you this little rod.
40 Cuda. Well, it's like the badge on the hood says six pack, but the uh, carburation says otherwise.
Apollo we saw rolling around earlier. Very clean, holds 442. We always see at uh, Pomona. This is that 59 uh, coupe again.
clean Corvette. Custom Studebaker.
tell you. I got three of them myself. You never know what else is going to be. Bring in the old bus. Well, There's all the old RTD colors and signs from. That old Crown school bus. matching trailer. over we saw at the beginning of the video. Anna, she said, love these fantastic 
Very clean 63 country squire. So it's an XL with the uh, buckets and console, which is kind of scarce. Very cool wagon. As I said at the beginning of the video, there's just way too much to see here to go into too much detail on each car, as you can see by the length of the video and how many cars have been in it. There's no way to tell how to time a video like this when you start filming it, because you don't really know how many cars you're going to see. Still have a little bit more to shoot. There's that mini T bucket with the big T bucket. Got this uh, 23 window Samba Volkswagen microbus. I think we saw this park somewhere else earlier. Sixty-seven Chevy Impala. with a uh, boss in it. This Nova Gasser. Camino. I think the cruising here goes until about four o'clock or so. And it's it's not even noon yet. I've actually been out here since about eight o'clock filming since I knew to get here a little early before the crowds really hit. California and downtown Riverside for the show and go for 2022. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to leave a comment as to what your favorite car was. Next week we have Long Beach Swap Meet and I think I'm also going to try to do a Culver City Car Show on Saturday. So I'll see how if I can fit that in. 
Uh, so stay tuned for those. Got lots of other great events coming up in May. So be sure to uh, check out the channel then and be sure to hit that notification bell because I'll notify you when I do post another video. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.